Alexander. Yeah. McNabb. Good old lady. Sweet and loyal. Alexander. Mm-hmm. McNabb. Beautiful. The only thing. Only thing. The only thing that I never liked about her is that when I try to tell her something right, she don't listen. Alexander. Mm-hmm. McNabb. Like most of the time, she don't. She's going to do what she's going to do. Alexander. Mm-hmm. McNabb. Regardless of what anybody has to say about it, if she thinks it's right, she's going to do it. So she don't listen to that advice hardly. That's the only issue I ever really have with her. But as far as everything else, I mean, she's an incredible mother. My kids love her. Well, at least Clarissa does. You can't tell if a baby loves somebody or not, really. Alexander. Mm Mm-hmm. McNabb. But Clarissa is crazy about her. She's stuck to her like glue. You know what I mean? Oh, man. With the you know what I mean. Alexander. Um. McNabb. She don't have an evil bone in her body. Alexander. Okay. Tell me about Courtney's interaction with Kalia. McNabb. She loves her. Alexander. Yeah? McNabb. She's gentle with her. And she wants to be the one that does everything for her. Alexander. Mm Mm-hmm. McNabb. You know what I mean? But she also knows that what we miss in Clarissa and that kind of stuff with Clarissa, that she feels like it's right to let me more, you know. And I do when I'm there, when I'm not at work. I mostly, you know, and then a lot of times we do stuff together. Like when we, um, when we changed our diaper the first time last night when I, you know, whatever, when it was green. Alexander. Mm Mm-hmm. McNabb. That I told you about. She was actually helping me. We put her socks back on. Because I took the the over. What is that called? A toosie. Ah, that goes down and covers the feet. I can't with this guy. Alexander. Okay. McNabb. And it's long sleeved. And I took that off of her. I never put it back on her. But she was helping me then. You know, she helped me put her socks on and helped me snap the diaper back and everything like that. She put diaper cream on her butt, which is something that I ain't really, that I never really felt. I don't feel comfortable doing that, you know. I'm not the type of, I don't like putting my hands and fingers, oh, Lord, fingers. Whoa. I mean, like, wipes are different. I just think I don't want to touch them like that. You know what I mean? Even though I'm their daddy. Yeah, you caught me as daddy too, she said. Ah, help me. Alexander, I understand. McNabb. And I know that I would I would never do anything to harm my kids or anything like that. I still don't feel comfortable doing that. So, you know, if there's diaper cream that needs to be put on, that's the one that does it. She's the one that does it. But anyway, the point of it, is she helped me last night, and, um, I mean, she's a good mom. She didn't have anything to do with this. Hmm. Alexander. She's not having any problems with what they call postpartum depression? McNabb, I don't think she is. Alexander, okay. McNabb, I mean, she's a little depressed. Alexander, Mm mm-hmm. McNabb. And when we, when we argue sometimes, she, you know, she says I'm giving that to her. I'm causing her to have it. But I don't think she's got it. But I've never seen a girl who does have it. So, I don't know. I don't see her having it. Alexander. Okay, McNabb. She's not depressed, I mean. Mm. Alexander. Tell me about these arguments. McNabb. Well, I mean, the main thing about the arguments is that, you know, I might leave. Alexander. Mm Mm-hmm. McNabb. And there's been two or three different occasions where I've left and I was with another female for a night. Ugh. Alexander, okay. McNabb, 
And that's normally, Alexander, I imagine that would start an argument, yeah. McNabb, yeah, I mean, it's nine times out of ten what the arguments are about. Any other time, you know, she might, I might be trying to tell her something and she don't want to listen. Alexander, mm mm-hmm, McNabb, so we'll argue. You know what I mean? Ugh. But it ain't never nothing super bad or nothing like that. I mean, we argue like any other couple does, but we get along better than we don't get along. See what I'm saying? We get along more than we don't get along. But when I do stuff like go cheat, cheat on her, you know? Alexander, when was the last time she hit you? McNabb, she don't hit me. I mean, she has before, but I mean, the last time she hit me was, um, a matter of fact, it was 2014, McNabb, last time she hit me, she hit me on the side of the head, Alexander, how did you get a scratch on your eye, McNabb, a tree limb or something, I don't know, I really don't, she didn't hit me though, Alexander, how did you get that? How did she get that mark on her eye? McNabb, I don't know. Alexander, you didn't ask? McNabb, I mean, yeah, I asked her, but she's, see, she messaged that girl, Danielle. There's this girl, Danielle, that I had sex with, Alexander. Mm Mm-hmm. But I got a feeling my girl went. I think my girl got into a fight with her. I think my girl might have went and fought her. Alexander, she got in a fight with somebody? McNabb, but she had told me that she got into a fight, but she wouldn't. You know what I meant? She wouldn't want me to know that she just went and done that. You know what I mean? Especially since nine times out of ten, she would have had to have my kids with her. Alexander, mm mm-hmm, McNabb, unless she took them to her cousins and then went down there and done it. But the girl, the girl texted me and was like, look, I like you and all. But all that baby mama drama, I can't handle it. You know what I mean? So that's the only thing I can think of, Alexander. But she didn't have the kids since Tuesday of last week until yesterday, right? McNabb, um, Alexander. So there's three days where she didn't have the kids. McNabb, yes, sir. Alexander, where you didn't have the kids either. McNabb, no, sir. And I didn't even get to see them within that time. And she did. Alexander, mm mm-hmm, McNabb. And we did get into an argument about, um, I was like, Courtney, you know them folks want y'all back down there to live. I said, but you know, in my eyes, you should be down there with them. You're able to be around our kids right now when they've been took from both of us. Alexander, mm mm-hmm, McNabb, why not go and let them have their mom at least if they can't have both? And I told her, I said, if I was in your position, I would leave in a heartbeat to go down there with my kids. And I left, and she went down there, and they took my baby and daughter, and she stayed with them all day. And she came home that night because I guess they they told her that they was going to bring them back to us. Alexander, mm mm-hmm, McNabb, if if she went home and we got the house cleaned up, They'd bring them back to us. And they did. Alexander, when's the last time either you or Courtney did any kind of drugs at all? Anything. McNabb, I smoked weed two weeks ago. I mean, I usually smoke weed every day. But I ain't had no money. So I hadn't. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Alexander, mm mm-hmm. What about Courtney? McNabb. She ain't did drugs. As far as I know, she ain't done drugs since my first, my firstborn was born. And that was, like I say, almost three years ago. Two years and eight months. Alexander, mm mm-hmm, McNabb. And I ain't seen her do nothing. Alexander, and Kalia's not premature, was she? McNabb, a month. Alexander, a whole month? McNabb, yes, sir. Alexander, okay. And she didn't have any health issues when she was born or anything like that? McNabb, the only thing they're saying is that um, she might have a claw foot or something like that 
where her foot like leans in. But when she took her to the doctor the other day, they're saying it's her foot and her ankle and they've got to do and all they've got to do is put a cast on it and it'll straighten it up. Alexander, okay. McNabb, so that's it on that. She wasn't even jaundiced. My firstborn was jaundiced. Like I was. And Kalia wasn't even jaundiced. So, I mean, they kept her, I think, for... They was going to let us go home. And the day after she was born, but they... Something about some high blood... High white blood cell count. So they had to wait until it was another 48 hours for the test to come back to see if it was something, you know, some kind of bacteria in her blood. And when it came back, it was negative, and they let us go with her. They let us take her. So the claw foot is the only thing that's it. I wonder if he means club foot. Is there a claw foot? I don't know. Alexander, you've had these clothes on all day? McNabb. I put these clothes on this morning. Alexander, there are the clothes. These are the clothes you had on when you went out searching for Kalia? McNabb, yes, sir. I mean, we don't have a washing machine and dryer, so they're dirty. Alexander, mm hmm. McNabb, you know what I mean? All my clothes are pretty much dirty. Mm hmm. McNabb, I worked in them one day. Alexander, anything? And I know it sounds like we're in here accusing, but you know, sometimes we've got to do that. McNabb, I know. You know? McNabb, anything helps, sir. Alexander, right. And that's what we're trying to do is find this baby. The last thing I want is some fox to grab her and drag her off somewhere in a fox den and her become feed for the night of the damn foxes or raccoons or whatever. McNabb, I don't know why somebody would take her and just lie her down in the woods like that. Alexander, I don't know why somebody would take a 15-day-old baby. Nah, me either. I mean, to begin with. But to take them in and then just set them down? Alexander, mm -hmm, because babies are trouble. Babies are hard. You can't, I mean, if you're, think of this. If you're kidnapping something, you don't want to kidnap a baby because you've got to feed the thing four times a day. You've always got to change his diaper. McNabb, honestly, it's not that hard. But I guess if somebody hasn't had, <laughs> oh man. Alexander, do you got any money they can ransom you for? No. McNabb, I make anywhere from 350 to $700 a week. Alexander, mm hmm. McNabb, that's it. And I ain't had a $700 a week in a long time. I mean, the last week I worked, last week I made 365 Alexander, mm hmm, McNabb. So I don't have anywhere in my house. I don't got really nothing nice. Mm hmm. McNabb, you know, I don't have anything, anybody. Alexander, usually when, when a child like that gets kidnapped, first of all, they're not 15 days old. Second of all, the only reason they would get kidnapped is because you got something that you could pay to get the child back. McNabb, well, I don't. Alexander, yeah. Mm -mm. McNabb, I mean, my dad, my dad got, my dad's got more money than anybody in my family, but he don't even have that much money. Mm-hmm, McNabb, I mean, he sells contracts, gas lines. Alexander, mm -hmm. McNabb, that's what, you know, so I mean, he ain't making nothing but a few thousand a week. Alexander, right, McNabb. If that's big enough for somebody to kidnap a kid, then there's some petty mother effers. You know what I mean? Oh, man. This guy. Alexander, it's not, it's about 220. You got anything else you could tell me that might help me out with this right now? <clears throat> McNabb, not that I can think of. Alexander, okay, McNabb, I mean.
Alexander. I'm going to go in and talk to Courtney now, unless somebody else already has. McNabb, yes sir, Alexander, okay? Which she, which they probably haven't. Um, like I said, it's 2.30 exactly, and I'm going to end the interview with Christopher. You need to go to the restroom or anything? You good? All right. We're just going to have to... We're just going to have you stand by right here, okay? I appreciate your cooperation. McNabb, thank you, sir. Please find my baby, Alexander. That's what we're going to do. We're working on it, okay? Alexander, still with me? Okay. You need another drink or anything? McNabb, no, sir. I'm all right. Alexander, you need to use the restroom or anything like that? McNabb, I just went a while ago. Alexander, oh, okay, good. Chris, what we do here? What I can do is, I mean, you can imagine we're trying to get all the information I can possibly get. McNabb, yes, sir, I understand. Alexander, did Courtney ask you sometime in a day if you had any information on anything with the... What that would have happened to Kalia? McNabb, yes, sir. Alexander, what did she ask you? McNabb, I mean, she asked me, she said to tell what happened. Those were exact words, that something happened. Alexander, mm hmm. McNabb, I told her no, nothing happened. What do you mean? She was like, I know you didn't, but I had to ask. I've got to ask. I'm like, well, nothing happened. I swear to God, nothing happened. She pretty much repeated herself. She said, I know, baby, but I'm sorry, but I had to ask. Alexander, when you you said you went and last to check on both the kids at about 9.30, right? When your dad texted you? McNabb, yes, sir. Alexander, were both the babies asleep? McNabb, yes, sir. Alexander, so Clarissa wouldn't even have seen you go in that room. In that room then, is that right? McNabb, yes sir, she wouldn't. But I did not take my daughter out of the house for any type, for any reason whatsoever. Any reason. I want her back, I know that. Alexander, so do I. McNabb, I want to go look for her and I can't. I want to find her. Where would you look? McNabb, well, she wouldn't go nowhere on her own. Alexander, mm-hmm. McNabb, I would go probably to every single person I've ever came across that I can remember. Alexander, mm-hmm. I need to know where to look for this baby. McNabb, I don't know. If I knew, I'd tell you. But I don't know. I honestly don't know. Everywhere is what I'd say. That'd be my answer. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Every square inch of the earth. I'm going to ask you this again. Is there any way possible that Courtney accidentally did something to this baby? Like now. If she would have accidentally done something to that baby. That baby. Ugh. She wouldn't have hit it. She would not have hit it. Alexander. Mm -hmm, McNabb. I know she wouldn't. She would have been honest. Because that's what... Because that's the type of person she is. Alexander, mm-hmm, McNabb. She don't like liars. I'm not a liar. She don't lie. She wouldn't lie about something like that, especially she wouldn't have a reason to lie. If it was an accident, it was an accident. And she's smart enough to realize that. Alexander, mm-hmm. Well, we've got a lot of folks out there looking for this child right now. Is there anybody that you know would come and take this child and not tell us by now? McNabb, I mean, I think that every every single person and most people in the world, if they took her, they wouldn't tell anybody. Alexander, I'm talking about McNabb, but no, I don't know anyone that I think would have took my baby. Period. I mean, I honestly don't know anybody that would have took her. Alexander, Papa or Nana? McNabb. I think if they would have took her, they would, they would have been honest about it, and they would have, they would have had a reason. 
they would have came up with some reason. They would have, just like Tuesday, Alexander, mm -hmm, McNabb, but they wouldn't have took her. It wasn't no secret. Alexander, right. We know they don't like you. We know. What about your dad? <laughs> right. We know. They don't like you. We know. What about your dad? McNabb. My dad wouldn't take my kid. Alexander. Has your dad even seen the child? McNabb. Yes. He was in the hospital. He's seen her twice in the hospital. Alexander. Okay. What about the next door neighbor? McNabb. Them folks are crazy. <laughs> oh, this dude. Ugh. Them folks are crazy. Both of them are nuts. <laughs> Both of them are nuts. The lady especially. <laughs> the lady especially. I mean, she's a drunk. <laughs> she's, I don't know. I mean... Anybody, anybody that would come out of their house at 6.37 in the morning and start cutting the grass when there's a person that cuts the grass, every, that cut, that's the grass, everybody's grass. Pretty, pretty funny, but that lady's just weird. <laughs> Alexander, mm-hmm, McNabb, if you talk to her, you'll know what I'm talking about, you'll know what I'm saying, but I don't. <laughs> Alexander, what's her name? Elaine or something? McNabb, Elaine. All I know is she's always talking about, that's a pretty baby. That's a pretty baby. Can I hold her? Like, no matter how many times we sit there and chill with that lady, I don't let anyone hold my baby. Alexander, mm hmm. <laughs> don't be in here. <laughs> She's too little. Anything could happen. I don't let folks touch my kids. She just continues to ask. Alexander. Has she ever been in your house before? McNabb. Yes, sir. Many of times. McNabb. Um, Alexander. Okay. What kind of car do they drive? A Jeep Grand Cherokee. All right. All right. Just stand fast. McNabb. Yes, sir. Henderson. Hey. Alexander said... You could be in, be in him, with him, what? You could be in him with him so you don't have to be down there by yourself anymore. Um, we're wrapping some things up so it shouldn't be too much longer, okay? Bell, oh, it's Courtney Bell, the mother. Did y'all find her? Henderson, not yet, okay? But, um, I wanted you guys to be together, Henderson, but... We shouldn't be too much longer. That's why we're wrapping things up, okay? Belle, please find her. Henderson, we are. We're trying to. Shouldn't be too much longer. McNabb, I love you. Belle, she's nowhere in the house. Belle, they searched the house with the dogs and she's never there. They got cadaver dogs in the woods and they still can't find her. McNabb, shh, I love you. Belle, I love you too. McNabb, it's okay. Belle, it's not okay. We're going to find her. McNabb, he asked me, he was asking if you asked me anything this morning. Did I have anything to do with it? I told him you asked me. Belle, I told him I asked you. Because they were asking me if you had something to do with it. I told him you didn't. McNabb, he was trying to make it some kind of accident. Like when it happened, like one of them totes falling on her or something and he asked me if I thought that you would have I thought you had some kind of accident or whatever and I said she didn't have an accident if she would have had an accident she would have never hit it she would have known Bell yes McNabb she would have known it was an accident Bell they asked me if you would have an accident with her where you have came and told me McNabb Okay, Belle, I just don't know what to think right now. She's gone. She just effing disappeared. McNabb, I didn't do anything, and I know you didn't do anything. I can't afford to be charged with murder. 
Bell, you just went outside. McNab, McNab, hmm? Bell, I love you, baby. I just wanted to come home. McNab, you got to keep your head up. You just got to be strong. Bell, I can't be strong anymore. Bell, I didn't do shit. I was asleep and I woke up and she was gone. McNab, I know. Bell, what? McNab, I don't remember. Bell, she's gone. I moved that tote and it was on bed. Bell, what did she go? And she went, where did she go? McNab, I loved, speaking in past tense, I loved, I love her. She was my baby. Bell, calm down. Why did you just do that? McNab, do what? Bell, why did you just do that? McNab, why did I just do what? Bell, you just said loved. McNab, I don't know, Courtney. Where is she? You think I had something to do with this shit? Bell, in my heart, no. I hope you haven't. I just hope you haven't. My heart tells me no. Bell, I just want my baby. McNab, I know. I love you so much. Belle, I love you. Belle, who would come in a house and take our baby? McNab, I don't know. Belle, that's all I can say, too. I don't know. Alexander, okay. Listen, you don't know how much we appreciate you guys' patience with us, okay? I can't, I can't even begin to imagine what you guys are going through, all right? What we're going to do is we're going to let Deputy James going to take you guys back down to the house, okay? Do you know somebody by the name of Jennifer Lee Clay? Don't know the name at all. No, sir, not at all. I don't know any Jennifer. Alexander, okay. And that's, you know, supposedly there's some stuff on Facebook already, which is not unusual in a case like this. Everybody and their mother all of a sudden knows stuff. So I just wanted to run the name by you. Just to let you know, what we're going to do tomorrow is um, Clarissa, even though she's really, really young, we're going to take her to a place. It's called the Child Advocacy Center. Advocacy Center. <clears throat> and we have someone that's going to do what's called a forensic interview on her to see if she has any information and try. You know, we notice her speech is not great, but we're going to give it. We've got to try everything we can, okay? Uh, so, you know, I don't know. DFCS has been contacted because we have to contact them in cases like this. So somebody from DFCS will show up sometime this evening, I'm sure. McNabb. Are they going to take Rissa? Alexander. That's up to them, okay? I don't know what's going to happen from that point on. They don't, I don't control that, Okay. But right now, we're going to have Deputy James take y'all back to the house, okay? This thing is not over by any means, as it were, okay? We're going to keep working. Y'all keep doing whatever you think you need to do, okay? Um, If we need to talk, if we need to talk again, I'll give you a call or I'll come by and see you. Or somebody will, okay? All right? Any questions right now? Bell. Oh, I have a phone number. That, do you have a phone number I can call? Alexander. We're doing what we can. And I know it sounds like we're just picking it, y'all. But you guys are the ones that have the most information on a 15-day-old baby. That's got all my information. My cell phone numbers on there okay and after we get done with the interview with Clarissa tomorrow then I'll let you know what Bell are we going with her Alexander I think they're going to want one of the grandparents to bring her up and she actually may have to stay with the grandparents tonight and I and I wouldn't be a bit 
surprised if DFCS didn't suggest that. So if they do, don't get don't get crazy, okay? What we're going to try and do is get this entire family back together, okay? That's our goal, all right? Let's not do anything stupid to stop us from doing that, all right? Okay, so we're going to let her take you out to the house, and we'll see you, or we'll be in touch at least by tomorrow. Belle, thank you. Alexander, okay. I got more of his, and I got all of Courtney Bell's coming up next. Sorry for my hoarse voice. 